Hi guys, this is Jo. I'm in an Apple store today for our live because my computer literally exploded and I came here and they told me my computer was so old it was considered vintage and by the end of the year it would be obsolete. So I'm here getting a new computer and um, that's why I'm not at the office. So I wanted to still check in with you guys. We're going to be talking about if you're sometimes feeling that um, you know, before you do anything about yourself as an actor, you're feeling like you need to get some jobs. You're feeling like you need to get some jobs going before anything. And the first thing is I want to acknowledge you because um, not thinking too much and doing things is great, right? You want to be diving into things, um, you're not afraid. You're ready to just jump and discover as you go. And I want to acknowledge that and commend and congratulate you on that. It's beautiful energy. It's impulsive. Um, it's alive. It's brave. It's courageous. And there's also some stickiness around the industry. I'm hearing so many actors um, reach out to me or to us in our community and say, I really want to get free. I really want to get authentic and truthful. I really want to do this work, but first I got to get some jobs going. Like first I need the industry to prove to me that it will give me stuff, that it will invest in me, and then I will invest in myself. And that's what I want to catch today. That's what I want to talk about today because the industry feels pretty intimidating for people, right? It's a big beast and it has a lot of actors and it has a lot of big names, it has a lot of heat, it has a lot of influence in there and it's very impressive for most people. So what's happening is you may be kind of wanting for the industry to kind of give in to you before you give in to itself, um, to kind of get a sense of safety, to kind of get a sense of possibility, to kind of get a sense of, okay, I'm going to I'm going to turn my life to this passion of mine. I first want to make sure that it works. And again, I understand that need for safety and I want to commend you for wanting to dive in. But the little thing we're going to be looking at today together is that little need for safety that you're looking for, that little need for reassurance, that little need for I want to make sure it's possible or I want to make sure I have something like a face or an energy. I want the industry to prove to me first before I burn myself for the industry. That is what can get you stuck in a loop, right? Because if you're showing up in the industry and you're not really yourself yet, you're not really 100% free, alive, instinctive, authentic and truthful and in the moment, if you are not 100% present, what you will give to the industry, what you will show up as is only a little version of yourself. Even if that's 70%, even if you're actually 70% actualized and free, instinctive, alive, free, all of that good stuff, which you must be as an actor because you're your own instrument. So even if you're in majority, you could say you're free, that's still not 100% you. And what the industry is looking for is you at 100%. Because when you're not 100%, guess what the rest of the percentage goes to? It goes to the fake. It goes to the mask. It goes to the conditioning. It goes to the stuff that makes us feel like, mm -hmm, no. So you're only getting one chance, right? When you meet an agent, when you meet a casting director, when you're being seen for a role, you're getting one chance to be seen for something. And if you're showing up to that chance with half of you that's being pretending under a mask or half of you that's being fake or that's pushing or that's trying too hard, that's trying to please, that's trying to be interesting and you're not really there, you're not really interested in the work because part of you is in the ego, right? Then you're not an artist, right? Then you're not able to deliver that type of performance or that type of presence in a meeting that will make you be seen, that will make an agent go, wait a minute, who's this person? They have something special, I can feel them. I can feel their humanity, they're really present, they're really with me. I can see their vulnerability, I can see their sickiness, I can see their strength, I can see their power. I feel them, I connect with them because you're actually connected to yourself at 100%, right? And if you're not connected to yourself at 100%, it means part of you is connected to looking good, to being liked, to pleasing, right? To being right. 
And that is conditioning. That's not you. That's all the fake you. That's all the mask. And people cannot connect to that. So whether it's an agent audition, whether it's a casting, whether it's a part, whether you're on stage, it doesn't matter. When you show up and you're not 100%, you're not showing up, right? Because what people want out of you is for your instrument to work. If you owned a guitar and two of the strings did not work and sounded out of whack, you could be the best play in the world with those other two strings or three strings. It wouldn't work, right? People would not be able to hear your talent. So it's the same thing with your instrument. You're the guitar. So if you're not 100% capable to feel your feelings, meaning whatever comes up, nerves, fear, anger, stickiness, shame, resentment, whatever it is, if you're not able to fully process that, to fully let yourself be hit by that, be moved by that, be open to that, it means that when you're embodying a character, you're probably embodying it with trying to be good, which has nothing to do with your uniqueness. It has nothing to do with what you have to bring to the table. So yes, it is crucial for you to train yourself to be 100% you before you get the work. Because if you even get the work by chance, right? If you get the work, if you're lucky enough to book something and you're not 100% you, what will happen? You'll get a little bit of a kick, a quick win. You'll be like, oh yes, I validated myself. I booked something. But you won't impact anyone because you're not really there 100%. You're not really present. You're not really free. You're not really fully human in that moment. You're partially conditioned. You're partially the result of learned behaviors. You're partially the result of a social mass. And when you're in that social mass, you cannot connect to people. Even if it's a little percentage, people cannot connect to you. There's a mass between you and them trying to look good, trying to be loved, trying to do it right, trying to please. And that never works for an artist, right? So yeah, you want to keep that beautiful energy of yours, which is like, I'm ready to dive in the fire. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to not, you know, get perfect before I give it a try. Yes. And watch out that it's not a safety trick that you're looping into, which is I want the industry to prove to me first that I can get some jobs and then I'll get good for the industry, right? I want you to give to me first and then I'll give to you. That doesn't work in a relationship and it won't work with your relationship in the industry. What you want and you don't even know it yet is you want you to be 100% you. When that happens, you show up 100% you and guess what people see? Agents, casting directors and an audience, they see the truth and the gift and the magnificent being that you are and they'll want more of that. More for another role, more for another movie, more for another audition. They will want you because they will finally see you. They cannot see you if you're not 100% connected. So yes, make sure that you um, do your due diligence to show up fully you, right? If you have questions about how to do that, um, sign up in our wait list and we'll let you know when we open enrollment. You can get some free trainings in the link in the bio or in the, the about section about um, how to go from being a good actor to being a great actor and that will already get you started on how you can become the 100% you before booking jobs because I can tell you when you do become the 100% version of yourself. All you'll do is book, all you do is impress people, all you do is be a magnet. People will want to work with you, they'll chase you, they'll rewrite roles for you, they'll take you for other roles, they'll change the color, the gender, the age, the, they'll change everything for you. It's happening non-stop in our community. Um, and then whenever an actor has it, they have to reach out to me all the time and say, you were right, you were right, it's true, I came in for a role. And I wasn't the type or I was looking too much like the other character. This is what we had lately. Uh, kudos to Javier who had this and who said the director loved me so much they give, gave me another part, right? So that's what can happen. That's what's possible for you when you, you 100% show up. Not you and some fake you. Not you and some pushed you. Not you and some conditioned you. You 100%. So make sure that you prioritize what you do, right? Don't try to get the jobs. Don't try to receive before you give. You got 
to give the 100% you before the industry returns the favor, okay? Uh, again, let us know if you have any questions in the DMs. Um, sign up on our wait, wait list for enrollments. For, uh, we'll let you know when we open enrollment and get that free training so that you can start doing this work by yourself. Okay? All right. Thank you, guys. It was lovely to be here. Bye.